I've got the charger installed outside now and it is working just fine. I re-enabled the ground check and now that it's plugged into 240 volts, that passes okay. So all the tests are on and working just fine. And I've, uh, I tried it out last night and uh, this right here uh, looks like it just accumulates how many kilowatt hours the charger has fed out. So last night I put um, 13 kilowatts into the car and I set it up to run at uh, 10 amps just for this first test. And um, I'm gonna just plug the car in. I just went for a hike and I got back. So the battery's down some. So this should just kick on. Yeah, I heard the contactor go. And now it is charging. And you can see uh, this is the total number of watts it's put into the car so far. And that is the uh, charge rate. So it's a little bit below 10 amps. And when it's running, you can just hit the, the, but, the button here to stop it if you want. So that puts it into the sleeping mode because I've set up the delay timer. I've made it so that it will start charging at 11.05 p.m. and it'll make sure that it doesn't start at 6.55. AM. So um, so that'll be my my low uh, low power rate window. I think it's between 10 and 8, 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. And so just so I don't ever have to mess around with the time here during um, daylight savings and stuff, I just set it you know forward ahead an hour and back uh, an hour before the before the 10 and the eight so that I never have to deal with that. And then just padded it with five minutes. So uh, let me go into the menu again. You do a long press to get into the menu. And uh, the first option, this is version 3.9 of the firmware. Uh, they've got the, uh, the menu structure a little bit different than the original firmware had. Uh, so this is where you set the delay timer at. And then there's a um, this other setup area that you can dive into and then you can restart the unit or just exit and then it goes back to the delay timer again so the delay timer I don't need to mess with that but I do need to go into the setup to go to the where I can set the charge rate so here's where you'd set the date and the time and then the type of display that you've got service level and then there's the max current and I'll do a long click to edit it and it's currently set on 10 amps and I'll put it to 16 amps that's uh, what I can do with the wiring in my garage and I'll do a long click and now that's set and then here's all the tests that you can disable if you want you can see I've got the ground check enabled again and I will exit this menu and if I go back here and now it says 16 amps okay so I just uh, unplugged the car and plugged it back in again to restart it and you can see now it's charging at 16 amps so the uh, adjustable charge rate works really nicely and I can just stop it here and uh, force it to wait until 11 tonight to start charging again. So I am having a little bit of trouble with OpenAVSC. Um, it's not starting when the start time is set. So you can see I've got it set for 1757 and um, 1757 just ticked over. But it did not start up. I've got the car all plugged in if, and if I come here and hit that then uh, it shows it's connected and everything and there's not any errors but it just won't um, it won't start charging so let's see if I reset it if that'll do anything Okay, now it'll start charging. So I'll go ahead and stop it. And 
I'll set it for uh, 1801 and we'll see if it'll start. So we'll see what happens here. All right, Let's see what happens. Nothing. But if I reset it, I think it will start up. What's going on? Okay, so I've got version 3.9.3 and this has got a fix to the firmware so that it will start charging when uh, the time kicks on. All right, that looks real good. So I, um, I'm also going to test to make sure the stop works all right. So this is going to just run for about one minute and then hopefully turn off. Okay, great. It turned off all right, right at 1904. So I think this is, uh, this is going to work out. Looks good. Okay, so here's the before and the after of my hourly usage per day. So this is just a 24 hour period. Uh, each bar is one hour. And it just shows how many kilowatts I use during that hour. This is before I got the charger, uh, coming home uh, at the end of the, the work day and plugging in and then charging up overnight. And then this is the after. So um, you can see uh, I should be putting about 3.8 kilowatts in it per hour from the charger and that's just about right here and it just takes about three and a half hours to recharge the uh, the battery in the car and uh, pretty big difference. So very cool, it's working great now with the latest firmware 3.9.3. Um, I've got it set up so it'll start uh, charging at 11 so it'll finish by uh, two or three and I've got my uh, my new rate plan set so I'll be doing the time of use plan starting tomorrow so uh, pretty happy with it it looks like it's gonna be a perfect solution for me